Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So today we're going to install the latest OTA um, for Android 4.0.4 for our GSM um, Nexus, Galaxy Nexus um, Please don't try this on a Verizon or a Sprint version um, The new new version uh, which is the IMM76i just came out so here's how to install it um, this will erase everything so just so you know make sure you make a backup using titanium backup app uh, SMS text backup app and also backup your ROM just in case something goes wrong um, you always have a backed up ROM or you just want to try the latest OTA and maybe you can always go back uh, very easy to do so let's do this Hello oh, folks, so next what you want to do is um, take the battery out and then hold down volume up and volume down and the power button to get into fast boot mode. And voila, you'll see that um, it says fast boot mode and you can actually put the cover back on if you want to. I will though. Alright and plug it into your computer alright let's go to our computer next next uh, go to um, device manager and make sure you have um, um, the drivers installed I actually have a new Windows copy so if you don't have it installed simply download the um, Samsung USB driver for mobile phones um, up here. It's in download androidrom.com under Galaxy Nexus routing. Uh, you'll see the USB driver. Um, actually, I'll walk you with you while I run that file. Simply download it and run it. And this will install it. And you can also install Samsung keys um, to get the drivers working. Um, there's a bunch of different ways, but um, you don't have to dri uh, install drivers for Mac and Linux. And also this method, I've included fastboot files for Mac and Linux, so you can actually do it in fastboot and uh, in Mac or Linux. You just have to change the fastboot uh, command to dot slash fastboot dash Mac and dot slash fastboot dash uh, Linux. If you know a little bit about computers, um, you should be able to figure this out. But um, as I said, you can do it on any phones and. Uh, you are going to be installing um, the latest 4.0.4 .4, and also you can root it using the same methods um, posted on my site uh, the rooting methods for ICS gingerbread everything is pretty much exactly the same the great thing about the Galaxy Nexus it's a Nexus Google phone um, so it's very easy to hack um, the recovery partitions are different Meaning, um, it's you know the recovery partition is always going to be the same whether they have ICS or gingerbread or honeycomb or whatever, and basically we flash the rec uh, to the recovery port uh, partition, the clockwork mod recovery, and then we just run clockwork mod recovery and install super user. So it makes it very simple. Um, a lot of devices should be like that. I wish all devices were like that, and unfortunately only Galaxy Nexus um, only Google devices are like that and everything else is like everybody try to lock it down in their me own methods one of the worst is probably HTC because they actually you know let you unlock the bootloader now but then now they screwed up the whole the whole um, atmosphere or, or the whole community of uh, flashing ROMs now you have to boot from fast boot so it's kind of like I wish they, they actually didn't unlock the bootloaders and let the hackers do it, then we wouldn't have this problem. Um, anyway, this is almost done, and um, um, get your high on Android t-shirts. <laughs> get it now at uh, um, store.high on Android. I've got two designs. Um, coolest thing is I actually personally ship them, um, and uh, you'll like these t-shirts. So I've installed the drivers, um, I still says unknown device drivers, if that happens just unplug it, plug it in, and it should work. Okay, normally um, it would update driver automatically, but um, I have a bunch of phones, HTC and Samsung, it's kind of confusing the computer I think. So do this, I found the update driver, drives my computer from software, 
Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and uh, click on ADB devices, Android ADB devices. Next, and uh, it actually gives me choice for ACC. Uh, you could actually probably use ACC driver too. Let's just choose the Samsung, uh, any of these should do, any Samsung ADB interface version. Um, anything with ADB, try it, it should work, say yes. Um, just as long as it's communicating, it's mm -hmm. all good. So it's working now, so now it's working. Um, there you go, and it's still in fast boot. Uh, so let's go do this, the next part. Go ahead and download now, um, let me see, Galaxy Nexus Unroot 404.zip, uh, unzip it to your download directory. So I'll have under downloads Galaxy Nexus Unroot 404. This has all the files you need, so let's do this. Next, open up a command uh, prompt. Um, for me, it's the start button up here. Search programs, type CMD. For Mac or Linux, um, go go open up a, a terminal. If you don't know how, just Google it. Um, and then here we're gonna type um, type CD space downloads. Oops, not that stuff. That downloads. You can just type D and then hit keep keep tabbing it. Um, downloads and the CD space Galaxy Nexus Unroot 404. Um, just do a G and tab, and it also works on uh, Mac or Linux. The downloads directly should be the same, I think. I know it is the same on the Mac. Um, Linux should be the same. Uh, once you get into this directory, you should be all good to go. Now we're going to type fastboot um, flash uh, here. While well, saying if you have a Mac, add a dot slash and also dash Mac like that and do the rest of the commands for everything. For Linux, just replace that with Linux. Um, so we're, we're going to do uh, fast boot space flash space boot loader space boot loader uh, dash Maguro. You can just do B O O T. Um, hit the tab, it will fill in for you. Just Or you can type it all if you want. Enter that. Um, one thing about the funny, funny thing I found about this thing is all of the Galaxy Nexus uh, latest images are actually like the Yakju uh, or Takju are actually names of Korean uh, rice wine. I drink it all the time, so I know. Um, but they're, they're all Yakju is like the stronger Korean rice wine, the unfiltered one, and uh, Takju is what I drink, which is a little bit more sweeter. Uh, they also call it Makali. Uh, anyway, on to this flashing part. Hit enter. Um, oh, get rid of dot slash. For, for Windows, you don't need that. Boom. And that will flash the uh, bootloader. Alright. And do fast boot space uh, reboot dash bootloader. And this will reboot the bootloader into the new bootloader. And you should see that it's the new one. I'm not sure if what the difference is, but it does here say, um, what does it say here? Yes, it's the new version. Doesn't matter. All right. So let's go to the next part. Then type, uh, type uh, fast boot flash space radio space radio maguro dash blah blah dot img um, if you have like a uh, you can oh well, let's just do it and hit enter and this will flash the radio the new radio All right so that flashed the radio you can use the arrow buttons to reboot the bootloader again hit the arrow button twice and you'll or you can type it again fast boot reboot bootloader and this will reboot the bootloader again and then we'll do the last part which is pretty easy to do uh, back here, type fast boot space minus w space update space image dash yakju dash imm 76 i dot zip. We're gonna flash the new drunken drunken rom stock rom. That's what they named it. Hello phone. Anyway, press the enter, uh, and this will flash the actual uh, stock rom. So you should be all stock. And if you want to uh, unroot it completely for, for returning it to warranty, um, type fastboot underscore OEM, no, sorry, fastboot space, uh, 
OEM space unlock and it will actually lock your bootloader so they can't tell you root it your phone but most like most of you probably just do this to update to the stock 4.04 and also if you wait a couple days um, there should be a bunch of custom ROMs with this update and better better uh, enhancements uh, additives so you don't actually have to install this um, but for those of you who want to you can always do it and uh, that should be it and this should work on all GSM versions of Galaxy Nexus anything um, using a SIM card uh, anything using CDMA, a Verizon Sprint, please don't try um, there's actually 4.04 is not out officially for the CDMA versions yet but it should be out shortly and uh, here we go, it's taking forever um, yes, and this will erase your user data, um, not not the contents or photos and videos. So it's rebooting now. Let me change the camera angle, and we should be done here. It took me forever. So now it's rebooting. Probably don't need that cable anymore. Let me put my back cover on. Kind of hideous looking without the back cover. And uh, that's yeah, that's it. So it's kind of kind of still recovering for 4, 420. <laughs> That's why I haven't done videos. Um, but um, it should go faster. And uh, just trying to do one video now, and then maybe more tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna do more Galaxy S2s and all that good stuff. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the latest 4.04. And I'll have a review of this 4.04 if there's any changes and whatnot. Um, let me go waste another five minutes of your life. And uh, with a stock ROM review, it's going to be just great. Just the two of us. <laughs> uh, stand, uh, okay, if it worked. I don't have my SIM card inserted in this one. This is actually supposed to fix a lot of the issues with the um, signal issues. I don't, I don't know. I haven't actually had any. The only time I had it was when I actually first got the phone. Oh, let me. I don't need this. Let me skip this. Uh, first time I got the phone, what happened was it had still had the European modem. I just put um, one of the North American modems and it works fine. So, there you go. And also the Sprint Galaxy Nexus is out. I'm not getting that because it's, this device is already old, kind of, in my opinion. And uh, I want to get the next best GS3. So that's what I'm saving my money up for. Um, here we go. So settings, we got it all got up there. See, it's 4.04 IMM76i. Um, of course you don't have root, uh, very easy to do, just go follow my directions at nexusshacks.com um, Simply you're going to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery and Flash Super User on top of it. That's pretty much it. Uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. If you have a Galaxy Nexus, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynexusroot.com where I update you once or twice a week uh, with ROM reviews, tips, hacks and more. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have. Thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Google, no, Twitter, no, Google, Google Plus, Twitter, or Facebook. Sorry, I'm just still recovering. Bear with my uh, <coughs> stupidity uh, this week. And uh, oh, yeah, we're giving out t shirts, um, uh, randomly chosen best commenters. So keep keep uh, working on those awesome comments, and uh, uh, you'll probably get a free shirt eventually. And uh, um, thanks you guys again for supporting my channel, and stay high on Android, folks, and don't get too high like me and get you know plastered. <laughs> it's having useless for a couple of days. See y'all later.